Update details 1.27. A new update of Grand Turismo 7 has been released. Cars. The following five new cars have been added Alfa Romeo Giulio, GTAM 2020, Bugatti Chiron 16, Corvette C8 Stingray 20, Ferrari VGT, Toyota Celica GT4 Rally Car 1995, purchasable, purchasable at Legend cars from 15th of December. That's today. The following new events have been added to World Circuits the Bergering European Clubman Cup 600, Mount Panorama Racing Circuit, American Clubman Cup 700, Monza Circuit, Hypercar Parade, and new escapes. The Norway no location has been added as feature creations in skates. Don't need to know about that. Sound. Fix an issue wherein the sound of the player's own engine would not play correctly. Let's have a look at the new cars. Then the other things. Let's go to America. Chevrolet. Let's look at the new CA Corvette. Here it is. It only costs 85k. Let's purchase it in red. Torch red. Very beautiful car. That's gonna be my new daily car now. I'm going to the seven. Now we go to Europe. And go to Alfa Romeo. Sorry about background noise. 220k. Where is GTA? Verde Montreal. I hit a trophy. Let's go rock so GTA. I might not have enough money to buy the Bugatti Chiron because it costs 3 million credits. Now let's go to Bugatti and see the new Chiron in the game. You do not have to buy the Ferrari VGT from the... from the uh, Brand Central because you get it for free. <clears throat> Light blue paint, black carbon. Dark blue carbon, black carbon, red paint, black paint, yellow paint, black paint, gold metallic, black carbon, white paint, red carbon, and light paint, and white paint, light blue paint. I kind of don't like this one, I like this one and this one. Dynamic scapes. Look how cool it is. Here it comes. The Bugatti Chiron. Turning left. Three million. Let's put it to wish list. You do not need an invitation for it. Which is good, except for the very one. The Veyron Group 4 is the cheapest Bugatti in the game. The Veyron is used to be the most expensive, but now it's the Chiron. I will show you the new Ferrari VGT in the Brand Central. If it's in here, no it's not. Let's have a look at the new Scapes location, which is Norway. There are now 2,846 total spots. Race across each Ford.
There's so many locations. There's 40 spots. When I get the shoe on, I'll be able to place it into the scapes place in the new scapes location, which is the one I favorite. There are new extra menus, which is Bugatti and Street 6 BMWs. I just need to get this one. I did see it in the used car dealer, but oh well. This is the six star roulette ticket engine. Bugatti Veyron, oh, Bugatti VGT, Bugatti Veyron 16.413, and Bugatti Chiron 16. I just need to get the BMW 3.0 SCL, or CSL 73. And the reward is a six star roller ticket engine. Just like this. Let's modify the cars. Let's go to car maintenance and service and make it a white body if we can. No. What about the car customization, like custom parts? Yes, we can. We can only do front and rear. Oh, this one adds stickers and makes the splitter wider. That one's kind of cool. Wingless, type A, type B. Oh, type B looks pretty nice. It makes the this bit go up a little bit and also removes the aerial. And custom wing set, which I know I don't like. I'm going to go with type B. Because I don't really like the aerial. Same with the custom splitter. Let's go racing items. Don't like those. Race hook. Um, kind of, but no. Daylight. No. Change the wheels because I don't really like them. What can go good with the Alfa Romeo? Hmm. I'll go with these ones. There we go. Perfect. Now let's customize the Corvette C8. I will do the shoe on in the next video when I get it. This is the Group 4 version, not the original. Listen to the engine. I thought it would sound the same as real life, but it sounds the exact same as the C7 Corvette. Now let's listen to the engine of the Julia. How are you going to pronounce that? That actually sounded pretty nice, but, oh, it has a racing interior too. Now, let's customize the C8 Corvette. Let's, let's see if we can make it a white body. I don't, I think this, the shoe on may have a white body, but I'm not sure. Oh. You can kind of see that the vent here on the side of the door, next to the door, comes a bit wider, like a, a little bit wider here, because you can tell because it's angled like that way, like that way. I'm not going to make it a wide body. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make it wide body, because then it will look too weird. Alright, let's go to car customization. 
and see the custom parts. We can do every single one. We got type A, which looks really nice. Type B gets rid of the side bits here. Same with the front. I kind of like type B. But type A is probably my favourite. Side. Ooh, nice. And type B is just regular. Rear. Type A. Oh. I don't really like... I don't really like that diffuser. I kind of like the default one, but we'll just go for it anyway. Type A features a stock wing. And oh, I did not know about this. Okay, we can have a zero one wing, which looks really cool, and we can have the poopy custom wing set, which I don't like. We'll have to go with this one. This one is probably the best one. Of, out of all of them, and yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh uh, no, roll cage. Oh, should I? Mm, uh, I'm not gonna add a roll cage because I don't want it to look like a race car. <laughs> so, this one, number plate. Oh, it gets rid of the square here. Wonder which one. Um, I'm not going with that one. I'll have to go with this one. I cannot change your front grill, which is disappointing. Um. Okay, this one. You. This one, perfect. Let's just upgrade it a bit. 494 horsepower, brake horsepower. Let's kind of weigh it down a bit, because I think it's a bit too heavy. Let's do this one, this one, this one. I'm not going to waste all my money. Oh, we can't put a turbo in it. We could put a supercharger in, and the racing intercooler, this. This, 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 this. And this one. There we go. Now we can make it lower. I got 105 credits left. So let's how low we can make it and go like this and that that's fine I just need the deal force rear and front there we go oh that's pretty low that looks pretty good I like it okay now, we can upgrade this. Okay. Let's get driving. We are going to choose the new ones, this one right here, and let's go. Let's test drive the C8 Corvette, there's also another Corvette right here, let's go.
has a lot look pretty cool. I have seen this car in real life, but it's silver. But unfortunately, I didn't get, I didn't get to hear the engine of it. And I also saw a 400Z in real life as well. The 2023 one. Yes, that's a car. It was silver with a black roof. I like the black roof. I don't like the colored roofs. Anyway, continue. I'll try not to crash my new car. Because if I do, I'll be very sad. Okay. Yeah. And I just scratched it. Oh no! I'm gonna scratch it. Oh! Oh! Crush! Oh no! My new Corvette! How could you? Dumb drivers. No! My Corvette's been destroyed! No! I'm gonna be sad! Oh! Oh! And. How could you do this to me? Why? Yeah, that was a crash test. And why is there smoke coming out? Oh. Yeah, that's from the tires, not from the engine. The engine's rear engine. Up. Oh, it's rear mid. It's mid engine. It doesn't see. It doesn't sound like the Corvette in real life. For some reason, I don't know why. It. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye bye. Oh yeah, one more car. That's the Toyota Celica car, which is right here. Even though I don't like rally cars, but it's still a pretty good car. Body color Toyota Castrol team. I'm not gonna put a livery on it because it looks good as new. Wait, what if I can customize it and change it a bit? So it looks like a modified JDM car. Ooh. But yeah, that'll be my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.